What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Mass Shifter's favorite nerd. Today we are looking at Marvel Legends Ant-Man's wave <clears throat> of uh, figures with the Ultron Build-A-Figure. And we're going to be looking at Giant Man, Tiger Shark, and Wasp for this one. So without any further ado, let's get started. So up first is Giant Man. And this looks like a... Probably Bucky Cat mold to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not good with distinguishing that sort of thing. Uh, I'm sure someone will let me know. And don't get me wrong, I am appreciative. So let's let's take a look at them. Uh, the head, you know what, let's get a little bit closer. The head is on a ball hinge. Um, and it's pretty good. Like, it's it's pretty well done. It gets a little goofy the more you go up, but I think overall I wouldn't ask for anything more. Good to go. The paint on the face is pretty well done. The eyes are well done. There's like a, you know, it's got the blue ring and the black pupil and the, you know, it just, it's, it's pretty sharp. Uh, the face is decent. Good to go. Sculpt along the, the mask is all fine. Uh, these are loose and I dig that. It looks like they just cut out a portion of the... It's probably like a Captain America head, and they just plugged it in. But I'm okay with it. Whatever. You, you won't notice it on a shelf. I'm all right with that. Black squares all done really clean on each side. No real complaints. Moving down, we got this thing here, and uh, it looks like there's veins in his chest, which is making it a little weird, but the, the design on the chest is sharp. The paint is sharp. It's well done. I can't say the same for the stuff on the ribs. Could have used a second coat. Look how... You see all that? See all that red poking through? Just fairly, fairly, fairly ugly. And it's on both sides. So that's that's the kind of stuff that, that irritates me. So let's get up to the arms. Or we can do the app crunches right here. We get two clicks down, nothing really back, and the abs, I guess one back. And the ab kind of uh, sculpt carries through, so that's that's cool too. And then we have a waist swivel as well. No problems there. Shoulders, typical ball hinge, swivel at the torso, and the black paint is done well, which is nice. Bicep swivel, no problems there. The black line work is fairly clean. We get a little carried away right there. Fairly clean on both sides, though. Double jointed elbow, getting you pretty much anything you could want. Uh, this design here could have used a second layer of paint, obviously. You see that? Unfortunate. Very unfortunate, same on the other side. And it has a wrist hinge and swivel and a fist hand, which is okay. Same for the other side, including another fist hand and weak paint right there at the plastic seam of the forearm. So, take that for what you will. Silver circles look good. Black belt around it looks decent, not sculpted. You know, that would have been optimal. But we can't go spending money on these things, can we? And then we have uh, black paint work that's really spotty all over the hips and the thigh joint here it cleans up down at the break so you get a clean black down there and same on that side and then we get a ball t-jointed ball joints for hips that get you a fair range of motion no problems there thigh swivel on both sides that's fine double jointed knee works just fine and then our big issue with this figure this is where they threw it all away. All of this figure has been using red plastic with black paint. Now, sometimes the black paint hasn't hit well enough, or they should have used a second coat, but it all looks sharp as far as the color onto the other color. Down at the bottom, since it would be less red paint than it would be black paint paint, we get black plastic shins with red painted triangles. That throws off the red match between the reds, and it makes the red look crappy because it's trying to go over the black. However, it does look like they try to do two coats, but still in certain places, it doesn't shine through. And that sucks. That is lazy. Can't say it enough. 
uh, down here we get a uh, you you get your shin swivel, which is stupid, and then you get a uh, a hinged foot, which gets you back. I mean, forward just fine, and back just fine, and then the rocker is built into this peg hole that fits into the foot, so that works just fine as well. Same on the other side. So this figure is really, you know, with uh, some black touch-up work done by you at home, which wouldn't take much, from there up, he's pretty good. Um, that, what you can see there, is pretty good. That irritates me to no end. But uh, on a shelf, you know, you won't notice the boots and he'll be fine. It's just, uh, it wouldn't it be nice if they took pride in their work? Next up is Tiger Shark. Um, this is the weakest of the wave, in my opinion, but we're going to talk about why. So the head sculpt is good. I like the mouth. I like the, you know, it's very animated, but I'm okay with that. I like the texture and the fin. I like all that stuff. I, you know, I'm not even sure if that's done on purpose, to be honest with you, but I still like it. If it wasn't done on purpose, it's a happy accident. If it was done on purpose, well, cheers for them. Paint is all fairly clean all the way around. I like the white eyes. I like the teeth. The teeth are painted. The gums are painted. Nice. There's pride there. I like it. Head is on a ball hinge. Um, it gets a little bit limited back because of this fin, but all in all, not hateful. And side to side is good to go. I think it's built on the Hyperion body. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I've got that one down at least. That's just the bulky body. So, from unfortunately, from the head down, it begins to fall apart. So what we have here is another paint catastrophe. You can tell this the painting is, is Marvel Legends' uh, kind of Achilles heel. So, this is orange plastic. This is orange plastic with purple painted on it. This is purple plastic. This is all done okay. Obviously, this would have been better had it been orange painted purple because it would have matched, but it's pretty close. It's not hateful. Same on the other side. Down here, orange plastic, orange plastic, orange plastic with purple painted on, and then purple plastic for the boots. Once again, not hateful. Down in this area, it is a mess. So this is purple body with orange painted on it that's not painted on it very well. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not even sure. I can't get in there. I'm not even sure if this, because this purple, it is. That's why I'm looking at it now. Okay, so whatever, okay, I've got it. They used a base purple. <clears throat> without a metallic finish. They use the metallic finish for the hands and a metallic finish for the feet. That's why that looks good. What they did here was they used a purple plastic and then painted metallic purple onto the purple and orange onto the purple. So neither one of them look great. You get chip marks all in the metallic purple, which otherwise looks pretty fantastic. And then you get orange that doesn't look like it quite belongs on this same figure going throughout the torso. Same thing on the lower part of the abdomen and then in the crotch area they just say you know what we don't really need the metallic finish so they don't use the metallic finish here and it's not even purple plastic so it doesn't match this as good so this is orange plastic with the purple painted on it with a fingerprint on it and that is lazy lazy that is infuriating and it's the same on the back so that looks terrible terrible now, let's talk about the figure's articulation. So we got the ball, same Hyperion mold. We got the ball hinged shoulders. Bicep swivel works fine. Double jointed elbows. Swivel at the wrist and then a hinge for the wrist, for the hand. Same on the other side. Ab crunch. Two clicks down. So much paint that it's making it a mess. And then one paint, one click up, one paint. I got paint on my mind right now. Um... And that, that's sloppy as well. And then we have a uh, waist swivel that works fine, uh, probably because there's no paint, uh, not, not, like not two layers of paint to screw that up. Um, and then a T-jointed ball joints for hips, thigh swivel, double jointed knees that work just fine, uh, calf swivel, which is stupid, and then a uh, foot tilt that goes back and up and then you get the swivel built in for the rocker which is all fine now real quick before people say um, 
They're giving you an extra point of articulation and you're calling it stupid. No, they're not. I mean, they are, ultimately. They've worked that in. But what this is, what all of these are, are basically Build-A-Figures. So they can use different different molds and interconnect them in order to make different characters. So this is really laziness on their part that just adds to worthless articulation on yours. I am being hard on them. I'm just, but I, it, it, sometimes the truth is hard. Sometimes the truth isn't fair. It's not fair that lions eat baby zebras, but it's a part of life. Let's continue. The, the, the real issue with this fella is the paint. And I think I know a way where we could have ended up with a better paint job. Okay. And last up is Wasp. And I like this one. Uh, it's not perfect, and we'll talk about why, but I like it. So head is uh, on a ball hinged, and there's black. It's black paint there for the hair, which is a piece that fits over the head. So that's black plastic. And then it's kind of highlighted with this brown. Now it's sloppy, but it's a nice gesture. And I do appreciate that. This is what I expect at a $20 price point. This is not hateful. It's a little bit of love. I can dig it. The face sculpt is pretty good. It's very reminiscent of the character. The eyes are painted well. The lips are painted well. It's a, it's a, it's a good likeness. I'm okay with this. Um, head articulation in terms of how it looks, it's not the worst thing in the world. A little crazy there, but not terrible. Not super unsightly. The wings are a translucent plastic, which are good enough. They do the job. They come in two pieces. You just fit this peg into this port, and then that peg right there goes into that port and then this hinges here and swivels and then this swivels as well so you can get some pretty dynamic wing poses and I'm, I'm good with that back side of the figures all black nothing to talk about there we'll just tuck in the the wings and continue on so uh let's talk about the rest so this is black plastic with the gold painted on gets a little fuzzy around the edges not super clean but good enough good enough and then the balls, uh, balls, the arm, <laughs> the shoulders are on ball hinges, and they are ratcheted, and they work very nicely. No bicep swivel, but you get a swivel built into the elbow. My elbow is really tight, and I'm not going to, there it is, there it goes. So, elbow, and then the swivel is built in, so it gets you what you need. Wrist swivels and hinges, and I like the uh, hand, artic like the hand sculpt. With the, and then I like the paint underneath. It's done fairly well. Even better than the chest, I will say. And articulation is identical for the other side. And the hand is the same, just opposite. For the uh, abdomen, this is not my favorite female uh, cut here. I prefer it when it's right underneath the breast. It just makes for a cleaner figure. But this still works fairly well. It's just a ball joint. And it's a good enough range. And then that gets you your quote-unquote waist swivel. Uh, this and this don't match, and I can't think of a good reason why. This is black plastic. This is black plastic. Whatever they did to this, they should have done to that. I, I just, I don't know why. I don't know why that is like that. But this looks fantastic. Very well done. The hips are on T-jointed ball joints to get you out to here, which is okay. Thigh swivel works just fine. Double jointed knee also working fine. Feet are on a hinge that gets you down and up. No, uh, it could go one more click up because sometimes getting her to stand is hard with all the weight on her back. It would have been nice to click her over one more one more notch, but that would have required me remolding, and we know that they're not going to do that. And then the ankle rocker is built into the bottom of the foot at the swivel, so that's fine as well. And then this gold lip around the feet is actually done fairly clean on both sides. We got a little spill over there onto the foot, but outside of that, nothing to really worry about. This is a good figure. I highly recommend this one. Final thoughts wise, the sculpts here are all pretty good. No real complaints sculpt wise. The issues here are the issues that plague this line and that's paint. And the reason why paint is an issue with this line is because they're trying to reuse the same bodies over and over and over again with different heads and interchangeable hands and interchangeable feet so that they can create more characters at a higher price point with lower cost to make more money. And I get it. Business is business. But it would be nice if we got a little extra sculpted detail here and there. It wouldn't kill them. Much like the antennas here on Giant Man, it would have been a nice little touch a belt stuff like that i don't even know what to do with this thing but paint them correctly uh it would be nice if we got some different ankle articulation with her in order to account for her wing weight um, or stand you know i'll take a stand any day of the week 
but but those are the issues that plague this line. If you have a giant man that's a proper giant man, the build a figure one that's huge, you know, definitely stick with that. Tiger Shark, I would avoid at all costs, and Wasp is definitely picking up. The only reason why you would want to get all of them is if you were like me and needed to build Ultron. Outside of that, get Wasp, pass on the rest. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.